Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So today's job is to make up the bush the bushes for coupling rods. So I've I've got one bush at one end, but we haven't got the other end or for the trailing link either. So that's the leading link, this is the trailing. I've I've got the drawings, I just need to change to metric. These are the spink drawings, so uh, I shall do that. Uh, I think I've got some good metal that will, that's a large enough diameter. Although I think the original ones look more like bronze, uh, more like brass. Oh, actually, they might be all right. Let's have a closer look at those. So, um, but I'll, I'll leave the original ones in. Um, so, yeah, we need to go uh, bush, have a bush frenzy today. So I'll get get some some material sorted out and I'll bring you back. So I've um, worked out what the metric equivalents are to these dimensions. Um, I'm working in metric basically because the, uh, the pins are made in metric and I'm a bit more comfortable with it to be honest. Uh, I found some gun metal. You might think it looks like brass but it has just got a bit of a orangey sheen to it which brass doesn't have and it's also out of my gunmetal uh, stock so I'm pretty sure that is gunmetal so uh, we'll make some bearings out of this and see how we get on so we're machining the outside diameter now it was pretty close anyway but we're just machining it down And then this is the uh, ins the lip to hold it in place. And you can see I'm offering up the uh, connecting rod just to, so it's a, a nice fit. So it's just literally just getting on. And then I'm using that that then as a gauge to to get the the length of the, the bush just right. So it just protrudes uh, through about 0 0.1 of a mil. And then finally we're going in with the drills. Uh, I think it went off a bit there so I used a, a boring bar just to get us back on uh, uh, concentric again. Uh, and you should see us try, trying the 16 mil reamer but this, this wasn't in great condition so it's cut in undersize. I didn't actually have a plug gauge the right size for this bush, so I'm actually taking the whole thing off off the lathe to try it out on the on the bush on the uh, on the pin on the loco. So after parting off, I've turned the bush round and I'm just cleaning up the uh, the parted off edge and. Uh, also just deep cut the corners off these as well just so it's nice and smart so that's the first two done um, this one is a really nice sliding fit uh, I think this one I can't quite get it lined up straight but I think this is just a just a very slight press fit it wanted to go in before I'm not sure if it's uh, got distorted when I bored it, but um, that that will definitely push in. So I'll, I'll do that in a moment. But uh, yeah, perhaps just warm this up very slightly. But yeah, generally I'm very pleased with those. I'm going to pop pop a, uh, just a drop a Loctite on that one, I think. Um, and I'll press that one in and then we'll see see how it looks on the loco. Okay, so I haven't quite pressed the, the bearing in completely. I just wanted to do a quick chair test. And that's that's turning over freely. There's a very tight, tight spot there, but just very you know, I'm not using a lot of pressure to turn this over. So I think that's sort of the sort of thing that would that would bed in and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That just shows uh, the joys of a laser cut chassis, I think. 
but yeah, that's definitely working great. Uh, same on the other side. So I'll uh, I'll finish pressing these these in, and uh, we'll move on to the the ones for the rears. But uh, very pleased with that. So the, doing the bushes for the rears, the same process. They're just a fraction smaller. Um, Again, I don't think I've actually got a reamer that's the right size because this, the back pin is 11 mil. So this back pin's 11 mil, so I haven't got a reamer for that, so I'll just have to bore it out, same as I did on the fronts. Um, because the 16 mil reamer I had wasn't quite 16 mil anymore. That's what happens when you buy second hand tools. They're a bit worn out. So I finished the um, the rear connecting rod bush, which is just there, and uh, look at that! We've got both sets attached. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that these are wanting to spring off a bit. And there's nothing holding them on at the moment, but there's no no binding at all. I'm really, really, not only surprised and pleased, but shocked also. <laughs> um, it's very rare that that happens, that you get the wheels turning over without any easing at all. So this is with, um, this is with no, no oil on it either. So to be fair, it's, yeah, there's not much slack there at the moment. Where's the little tension? A teeny bit on on the rears fronts probably a little bit tight but that might just bed in I'm gonna get some bolts on these and then take it to the track and run it around the track and see how it runs but I'm ever so ever so pleased with that that's amazing it's amazing to get it that good straight off the bat just to, just to show that there's no sleight of hand, you can see that there's piston rod there, oh, sorry, connecting rod there, connecting rod here. And that's, uh, that's just, just really nice, I'm really, really pleased with that. Can you tell I'm pleased? <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, so I, th I think I'll, uh, I'll stop there. And that's the connecting rods finished. Apart from I've got to just drill the oil holes, but that's just a drilling exercise, so I probably won't film that. It's not particularly exciting. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I perhaps learnt something. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, would you have done things differently? And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.